Hey everyone and welcome to a brand new Class 66 Rocks Stobart review. Um, apologies for the lack of videos over the past few weeks. Uh, the reason being is that I have been really busy with work and I've also been taking some time out to enjoy other interests and hobbies as well. Um, so I've just got back round now to starting filming reviews again. Just to let you all know, there will be coming a layout update video uh, in the next few weeks. I'm hoping to try and film it this week, um, commitments permitting. So it should either go live either next week or the week after that. So, without further ado, let's have a look at what we're reviewing today then. So, as you can see today, um, we've got a World of Stobar collection model. Um, now I've got to position the certificate at a certain angle um, as I've adjusted the camcorder settings slightly uh, to a different brightness and I've also readjusted the lights in my room uh, to try and compensate. So as you can see uh, we've got a Scania DC13 Anglico fire engine with the fleet number LSA047. So this is a certificate of authenticity. Uh, so this basically certifies that the model accompanying this document is an authentic replica officially licensed and approved by Eddie Stobart. Uh, so I'll just try and turn it just so the glare doesn't affect it too much. Uh, there we go. I've just turned the brightness down a bit so you should be able to see that just a little bit better. Now, so it's made um, by Oxford Diecast for Atlas Editions. And as you can see, it's part of the Stobart Air collection, this particular model. Now, if the brightness stays as it is now, I'll probably leave it on this setting. But if it goes a bit more dull, then I'll turn the brightness up again. So on the back here, you can see we've got a bit of information about the Scania DC-13 Anglico fire engine, um, which obviously has a fleet number LSA-047. So I'll just let you read that just for a moment. Okay, so moving down, uh, we've got the Atlas Editions guarantee to the consumer. Um, so we're not going to go into too much detail about that. So I uh, obviously can see the certificate are just a little bit better there now. Uh, like I say, it was pretty due to the brightness setting that I got the camcorder on. So let's take a look at the model itself then. So as you can see, it's presented in the world of Stobart box, um, which is sort of quite basic compared obviously to the Atlas Editions versions that I've reviewed previously. So as you can see uh, we've got the World of Stobart design on the front, um, it's a special edition collector's model. On the side we can see it is in 176th scale and it is die cast metal. On the other side again, the same again. And on the bottom of the box as you can see it's by Atlas Editions. Um, it's produced for Eddie Stobart. So let's take the model out of the box and have a look at it. Now I have had this model for a few weeks now. Um, I actually had it off eBay at quite a good price as well. So let's just take it out of the box and we will have a look at it. Okay, so I'm just going to up the brightness on the camcorder slightly. Okay, so as you can see, it's presented in the ice cube or block of ice packaging, uh, whichever you wish to call it. So we'll just take these apart, like so. And I'll just grab this other one, just out, so it's out of the camcorder viewfinder. Okay, so first off, it's not too light, it's not sort of too heavy, it's sort of in between, uh, but it has got a fair bit of weight to it. So as you can see, um, all these models are presented on the black display stand, uh, and on the, along the edge of the display stand here, you can see we've got the description, which is Scania DC-13 Anglico Fire Engine. It has the name Leah Millie and it has the fleet number LSA047. So these are mostly used at London South End Airport where Stobart's uh, 
did have the contract for operating the airport. I'm not too sure if they still do, uh, with all the latest obviously events that have been happening. Uh, but if you do know, just please leave your comments below. So let's start with the front of the fire engine then. Okay, so on the front, uh, as you can see on the top left and top right, uh, we have the sirens, as you can see. Uh, moving down, we've got the visor uh, with some lamps just there. We've got the mirrors and the blind spot mirrors on the left and right hand sides. Uh, as you can see, it's a, it's a Scania just under there. So I'm just going to try zooming the camcorder in if it'll let me. Yes, it is. And as you can see, it says Angler Coat just there. So I'll just zoom it out so it doesn't affect the brightness too much. Okay, so on the front as well, we've um, got the headlights and, headlights and the indicators. And uh, now we have got um, this little part just here. Now, I'm guessing it's some sort of hose of some description. But if you do know, please leave your comments below. Um, I'm not going to bend it because I don't want to snap it off. Moving round to uh, this side now. So as you can see on the side, uh, we've got the cab doors there where the firefighters are um, getting out of the front and the back of the fire engine. Uh, we've got the compartments, obviously for all the hose jets and all the firefighting equipment on the side. We've got like a sort of checkered flag design, um, but in red and white. On the side here, um, I'm guessing this is the London South End Airport livery. Um, now I've not visited London South End Airport myself, so I don't know um, whether this livery is like the basic livery for all the vehicles, or is it just for Stobarts? Uh, but again, if you do know, please leave your comments below. On the back, as you can see, we've got the Eddie Stobart wording just there. Turning the fire engine round to the back now. You can see we've got a compartment on the back, um, which I'm guessing stores equipment in, etc. I mean, I'm not a huge know it all with fire engines. Um, so if you do know a bit more about them, please leave your comments below. As you can see, we've got the ladders on the back just here, and also on the roof, as you can see, if I just run my finger down them. We've also got a flashing beacon. Um, now that's quite fragile, so I wouldn't want to be bending that either. And we've got the number plate on the back of the fire engine as well, which is PO12HVF. So moving the model around to the other side now, as you can see, uh, there's nothing much different on this side. Again, we've got the compartments where the firefighting equipment and hoses etc are stored and again the Eddie Stobart London South End Airport wording on the side in white and again the livery in red and white sort of a checkered design on the side um, on the front again we've got the doors um, obviously where the driver gets in and the firefighters get in the back um, taking a look at the roof we have got a hose jet, I think it is, on the roof just here. Now, I'm not entirely sure if that's supposed to turn, which I don't think it does. Um, but if you do know why they do face this particular position, again, please leave your comments below. Uh, we've also got another part of sorts just here. And again, as I've mentioned, obviously we've got the ladders on the top just there. So that is it basically, the Scania DC-13 Anglico fire engine in the Eddie Stobart London South End Airport livery.